What's going on, people? That's always my opening line, right? So today, I'm going to keep it quick. In the mix of getting ready for this trip to San Diego, Danielle and I are hopping on a plane to go out there to hang with the BGIM family and uh, my School of Genius family and uh, learn a little bit more about marketing and just fellowship and just spend time with some good people. So uh, I would definitely say find out who your flock of people is and spend the most time around them and not around the other people who are wasting time or people that don't kind of add to your life. So um, today, what's going on, Don, Felipe? Don, are you going to the event in San Diego? I think um, when you came on, when you when you walked up to me at the event last time, I was doing push-ups because I had lost this sales challenge, and we didn't really get to talk much. So if you're out there, I definitely like to you know say what's up to you. I'll be out there with my wife. But uh, real quick, today is about visualizing what you can't physically see. And um, <clears throat> part of the reason I'm so confident in myself and confident that I'm going to get to where I got to go is because of uh, visualization. Um, to be able to see the finish line without actually seeing the finish line because day in and day out, you have to be able to put in work in order to get to where you want to go. Nothing ever happens overnight, and if it does, it can, it can go overnight. So part of the reason I go live and I'm actually working on making this a regular thing at a regular time, schedule trying to get out of town, has been a little difficult here um, in order to make things a little bit, I say, consistent this week. Hey, Miss Diggs. It's been a little bit difficult this week because of all the things going out of town, doctor's appointments, yada, 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 and stuff like that. But uh, the reason why I make all those videos and I go live is just to show people the process of, you know, you don't have to be perfect. It's just about doing whatever it takes to get where you're trying to go. And the one thing about me that keeps me confident um, and keeps me going is knowing exactly where I'm trying to go. I mean, I get inspired by people, but at the same time, I'm a self-motivated individual. I don't necessarily need somebody else to motivate me. I just get up and go. And uh, no matter how many times I hit that brick wall, how many times I fail, because we all fail. I mean, everybody has a different conception about failure. I mean, we fail every day, but failure puts you close to where you want to be. The only thing that'll keep you from getting to where you're trying to go is quitting. And um, I hope that, you know, a lot of a lot of you have watched the videos. Some of you haven't watched the videos, but essentially, like, the first series I had was 10 weeks to a 12K agency. I did not meet the goal, but eventually we did hit the goal. But it was just to show you every day I'm willing to put in the work. And, hey, what's going on, Jacinda? <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it. And I like the hashtag. I didn't even know that was, that was that, that's a good one. And I, I got to come up one uh, with one for you. So um, I look forward to seeing you in San Diego tomorrow and uh, introducing you to my wife and just you know, spending time with you guys out there, man. I really look forward to it. It's it's crazy. It's here already today, so I'm running around. I'm actually about to go get a haircut right now so I can look fresh when I get out there. What's going on, Carl? What's going on, Carl? What I was saying about these videos is um, the 10 weeks to a 12K agency, those videos are shit for real. Like, um, the audio was bad. Um, probably look half crazy in all of them, but you know what? I really don't give a damn what people think. Um, you know, it doesn't matter if you think positively about me or negatively about me. Yeah, she, she's looking forward to meeting everybody. I think it's going to be great so she can see exactly what's going on because she knows what I do, right? But to be around everybody and to take in all that energy, it's going to it's gonna be a life change for her as well. But um, all those videos, whether you like me or not, it's just to show you that <laughs> I just don't care what people think. And I'm going to keep going until I decide I don't want to do it anymore. There's things I was in that I stopped doing because I didn't see... Um, the benefit and keep moving forward and that wasn't quitting but to, to hear about people quitting kind of irritates me um, the fact that people even think about quitting it's just like because even our mentor Jacinda you know Billy talk about you there's people that are you know they're about to quit and I'm, sometimes I'm like do I have to act like I'm about to quit to get to where I'm trying to go because that shit never even crosses my mind to me it's just like you know stay the course and of course I would like to have this shit happen a year ago a few years ago I mean there were some rough times but it is what it is so uh, between like I said 12 weeks to a 10k agency and even when I switched over and started doing gay, the gay videos um I think we're close to 150 videos now plus we're about to start doing these lives every day um, the bulletproof mindset series i mean i'll keep throwing numbers on that until i think of something else to do and i appreciate all the love she is throwing it up for me <laughs> yo when you when you do your next live stream just send this seriously make sure that you add me to it like send me an invite because in all honesty i don't get on facebook much man i just post my stuff and I roll I'll scroll through a little bit and if I see some stuff that's positive I'll like it or, or love it but um for the most part I post it and I go right back to work so the next time you have something hey send it to me 
what's up G you know but uh even with the gay videos it's basically just showing it's just showing you the journey like I was I was listening to some old matter of fact I was listening to some old gene pool Jacinda and it was uh the one about live streaming and you were on there too because I remember him saying your name and you had 150 bucks and um the same thing he was telling me that made me start doing my videos when we first got into clicks what's up G is document the process. I mean, if you're already doing it, you don't necessarily have to create anything. If anything, the only thing I'm guilty of for, from a business standpoint is creating more content for my clients. Um, the content that I've been creating, it shows some of that. It shows a lot of time I spend with my son, just the fact that I'm not going to give up. But, you know, I see the finish line even when no one else sees it. And like I tell people all the time, like, I mean, some people take it as confidence. Some people take it as cockiness. But I feel like I'm the best in the world. And I see that in the finish line. And you have to see that now in order to become that. And I'm only ensuring that by hanging out with people like Jacinda, hanging out with the people that we hang out with, hanging out with my boy Greg. You know, that's how you ensure those things. You have to put in the work to get where you're trying to go. So like I said, I see the finish line and the finish line could be, I mean, it's not tomorrow, but it could be within a day or two. It could be in a few weeks. It could be anything, but you have to consistently keep that in your head. It's just like even now I'm driving this car and um like, I plan on getting, an, you know, I like Range Rover, so whenever I drive my truck, in my mind, I'm driving this Range Rover. I see it in my head, uh, the Mustang that I talk about that I want. I see it in my head as part of the things that I want. So it's just seeing the finish line, know where you're trying to go, not being deterred. And whenever you start um, getting worried, and what did you send us? Hold on. I watched that after you mentioned it. I'm going to start going live on the schedule like a regular broadcast. So we'll hold each other true to that. Because um, I'm, what I plan is to do 9.30 these. I really want to do like 4 in the morning, but with everybody getting up, I don't want to be doing live and the family kind of comes in. Or maybe that'll be cool. Maybe that's more journey stuff. But 11 o'clock every day, start going live on the business channel. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll hold each other accountable for that. Definitely. So uh, I forgot what I was saying about videos, but document your process. You know, document your process. People want to see, you know, the grind, the day in, the day out, what you're doing. And, you know, turn it into a show. I mean, that's basically what I got as a show. It just, I mean, I was doing every day for about six months, I think. And um, I kind of fell off. But February starts, uh, February 7th was the first day that I posted a video. And I was in Clicks in the Customers Live with Jacinda. And February 7th, I plan on going back to that everyday thing until uh, that 90 days is up. It's going to be like a year ago today. This is what I looked like probably all effed up in the game. And then this is what it's like today and how I feel differently. Plus the gave is about to change where I'm going to actually start interviewing people like Jacinda, like Greg and anybody who tunes in live, you know, interviewing people and actually finding out what that means to them. So, I mean, I say those letters all the time and I know I don't go deep into it, but that's just how I start my day from a place of gratitude, appreciation. I visualize what I want and then I go after it. I mean, the only thing you can control is how you start your day and how you end your day. And that's what GAVE stands for. I mean, I hope people understand that. And I'm going to do a better job in explaining it. It's a it's a movement, not as big as I would like it to be, but um, it's just the way of life, you know, and it'll grow the way it's supposed to grow. And um, I appreciate everybody's support. Jacinda, I appreciate all those damn hearts and likes. You were blowing it up for me, and I appreciate the hell out of that. And like you said, when you go live, let me know, because on some real shit, I do not get on Facebook just to be on Facebook. I get on there, drop my stuff, and then I go back to work. So, um, But I definitely want to support you and will continue to support you, because you are an absolute rock star, and I appreciate the hell out of you. And look forward to seeing you in San Diego. When you see me, I won't look as scruffy, so... Um, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up there. I got to get ready to get a haircut, <laughs> make a few moves before uh, my plane leaves. Our plane leaves at 5 o'clock, so we got to be at the airport at 4. A few more things I got to do in order to be 100% ready and, uh, you know, arrive in San Diego and spend time with my family. So the fact that I have a family, I mean, we all have families, but the fact that I have an entrepreneurial family that I feel at home with and feel comfortable with and know that we're all out here getting it. Like Jacinda and I do the exact same thing. She may work with a different business versus what I work with, but at the end of the day, there is no competition. There's only help in pushing each other forward. And that's what I love most, being around people who have the abundance mentality versus people who are scarce. Um, when people are scarce, you don't want to be around them because they're just going to cut your throat. So if you can tell that from the beginning, just stay away from them from the beginning you know so there's plenty of money out here for all of us i mean there's how many businesses out here and the majority of them are failing you know why because they're not doing marketing you know and if you look at the big companies like mcdonald's i don't eat mcdonald's but coca-cola i don't drink coca-cola but you know what they stay marketing even though they're the best 
So I will leave you all with that. It's time to get a haircut. And I appreciate you guys. Love you guys. And remember, gratitude, appreciation, visualization every day. Make it a part of your life. Even if you don't want to use the letters I'm using, just do the shit. And you'll see the difference that it makes for you in your life. Talk to you all later. And Jacinda, looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. G, I'll talk to you soon. Greg, I appreciate all your help with the finances, um, helping me rebuild what I essentially lost, man. And Greg's story is awesome, too. So check him out at the Financial Fit Club. 50 million businesses on Facebook. I know, right? And half, I would say 90% of them are doing this shit wrong. Oh, man. I wish I can go live right now on my, on my business page, but I can't. I got to get this haircut. So I'll see you soon, Jacinda. I'll talk to everybody later. Later. Bye, Ms. Diggs. Thanks for tuning in.